We're looking through the big book of dicks over there. We're <laughs> 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 there. We got some huge dicks in there. There was a guy, he was in a, a truck, and his dick was, in, you know, it, well, in, intertwined with the steering wheel. <laughs> And Amber goes, what, would you ever go sit in an abandoned truck <laughs> to get a picture of your giant dick in that steering wheel? <laughs> yeah, for 150 bucks. <laughs> Maybe a chai latte? <laughs> so it's exciting to be here. <laughs> it's almost... <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> you should. You should snort it, snort it, not smoke it. I always say that, but it is true. Yeah. But this is a really good, it's a good place for a comedian like me, because I like to talk about the environment. There are quite a few funny things in here. Like, okay, we get it. All of your clothing racks are silver. Pick a different color, weirdos. Could the greeting cards be any closer together? <laughs> I'm trying to look at one, somebody else is going to grab a word and touch hands and do coppers in the alley. <laughs> I didn't know what coppers were. This is true. I went to a gay bathhouse in search of nitrous when I was living in Chicago. <laughs> I'm fine with every part of that. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> but I went in and I was like, do you guys have any nitrous? And the guy was like, um... I don't think so. We have vending machines and stuff in there. And I said, well, is there nitrous in them? And he goes, I don't know. You can go check. Um, you do know what this is, right? And I went, yeah, yeah. I'm just looking for nitrous. <laughs> Which sounded like the weirdest excuse, like trying to pretend like I was straight at a gay bathhouse. Yeah, oh, I'm not here for the dick, okay? <laughs> I'm here for a carny truck, all right? That's a high grade second. <laughs> What do you have to say about it? <laughs> today uh, I was walking, uh, I was at work today and I was walking out and I walked by somebody and I went like this, uh, just because I, I just had a sniffle, you know, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and as the person walked by, they looked at me like, oh, like I was crying, you know, and I immediately was like, hey, I'm fine, everything's good. <laughs> Which was weird, because they were like, all right, I didn't know. So, they're eating fine. I had my peaks and valleys, mostly peaks. Which one's good and which one's bad? <laughs> peaks. We're practicing introducing myself to someone named Tim Gregory. they are my three, my top three. You're going to introduce yourself to Tim Gregory. Hi, I'm Tim Gregory. Put her there. Right there. <laughs> Yo, what's up? I'm Timmy G. Tim Gregory. <laughs> well, I noticed you there lurking in the shadows. Are you a ninja? Just kidding, I'm Tim. <laughs> so those are my like, top three. If you can think of any better ones, Facebook me. Because I'm trying to really get that together in case I change my name. Every time somebody asks me to Facebook, then I hit them in the face with a book. I'm <laughs> <laughs> lucky it's a Facebook for dummies. It's the ultimate irony, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you know this area in West Hollywood has the highest per capita pedophile in all of Los Angeles? That's true. I read it on Wikipedia. I put it in there, but I read it right after that. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing source coding joke. <laughs> people in the front row didn't care for. <laughs> Whenever I drop my utensils on the ground, I'm like, oh no, Kevin! Because I name him. <laughs> I name all my utensils Kevin. That's good for that joke. What would, it be like if, what would it be like if your job was that? Just to think of that. Like, I'll tell it to some strangers tonight and see what they think. I got a massage recently, and I, just, I take comfort in the fact that you can make as crazy a face as you want when you're in that massage chair. Ain't nobody looking. You know? They're giving you a nice back rub, you can do it. <laughs> Doesn't make anybody uncomfortable. Unless you talk about it at a later date. <laughs> and give an example of it. <laughs>
So a girl uh, compliment one dimple of a guy's dimples. You got a really cute dimple on your left cheek. He's like, oh, great, thank you. But you could feel him being like, what about the right one? <laughs> just leaving him out to dry, huh? <laughs> chop liver. I think the reason she didn't compliment it is there was a little bit of chopped liver in his right dimple. <laughs> He's been eating it earlier. It's very messy. It's <laughs> <He's tough. laughs> a couple of characters, real quick. Sorry, I want to try new stuff on this. This is our inaugural show. It's fun, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We like to put it together, and I said I'd like to perform on it, and then we pretend it's our show. You guys all the work, and I kind of swoop in and go, hey, I was a Yogi Bear motherfucker. <laughs> you your lucky stars that I'm walking into this weird sex shop. <laughs> after being a Yogi Bear, I rarely go out after eight. <laughs> <laughs> This is a girl, or a couple of characters, this is a girl who, her O face, like her orgasm face, is neutral. I think it's appropriate. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh no, oh here it comes. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh boy, keep doing that. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, 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 The guy who uh, always invites himself over for dinner at the most inopportune time. Oh God, I'm so sorry. And how are the kids? Well, it must be hard. I mean, I mean, Devin's 12, and Devin is 14. I think it was really crazy to do that to name your your kid. Devin is a beautiful girl. So it's Sunday. You guys still be on top of it after the funeral? No? Okay. What about apps? <laughs> Pick something up with tender green. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he did right before he died. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that one's one of those ones where it's like, I could work on it or I could leave it forever. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what will end up happening? <laughs> Are you getting all this on your phone? I Thanks am. You're doing that? Good. <laughs> put, put that last one on just by itself. <laughs> I'm going winning. Hashtag Charlie Sheen. Hashtag this is a Twitter. Hashtag this is YouTube. <laughs> this is the guy who, who, whenever he insults people for being weird, it kind of backfires. Yeah. I'll smoke your fucking dick with garlic, you weirdo. <laughs> Over. <laughs> <laughs> but before I go, I want you guys to always remember. I love that you have sounds that sound like vibrators <laughs> when you open doors and stuff. <laughs> Be somebody having their third orgasm. The ring, the ringer on your phone. Oh, please, they're almost out of Yeah, they're almost. I don't think phones are on the sixth hand. I don't need to remember what it sounds like. To say the word that means that they rank. Okay. And oldies. But not goodies. I always remember, feed a baby a magnet. And you can put refrigerator magnets on its stomach for a little while. <laughs> 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 <laughs>